Pacific. Today, I'm going to show you how to take apart a Parava 300 and install a set of Boca high performance bearings. This setup that I have right here is a Corrado 300E and it's set up on a Phoenix inshore assassin rod. This rod happens to be a 9 foot rod and it's rated from 10 to 30 pound test. This setup right here is one of our primary setups for fishing here in the Santa Barbara Channel. We fish it for calico bass, sand bass, sea bass, halibut, rockfish, it, almost everything we do we use this outfit for. Um, the reason we upgrade the bearings is, uh, for instance, when we're fishing calico bass, we'll be making two 300 casts a day, and we want to have the longest cast and the most accurate cast we can. Um, Shimano makes a great product, I just feel like there's a little better edge with the Boca bearings. Uh, first of all, you're going to need a set of bearings. Boca makes it really easy to pick out the right bearings for your reel. If you go onto their website, www.bocabearings.com, you can look up the reel by the manufacturer and model of the reel. Uh, this set right here that I'm going to be installing today is a set of four bearings. There's two ceramic bearings, and those are going to be your spool bearings, and there's two stainless steel bearings, and those are going to go under your main gear, beneath the shaft, and the other ones for the gear pinion. A couple other things you'll need, uh, you'll need a lubricant. I've been using TSI 301, it's a high performance oil. Um, I've been using it for about two years now, it works great. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of Yama Lube. This is the grease that you use to maintain your Yamaha outboard. Uh, I use that on the hardware as I'm backing out of the reel. I use it on all the screws for the side plate. It's basically just waterproofing and corrosion proofing your reel. You're going to need the Shimano tool that came with your reel. Uh, that's going to be used to take off the handle. Uh, you're going to need some sort of tool to remove a couple of these bearings that are down deeper in the reel. This right here is a tool that I modified from a pin reel wrench and I basically ground down the end and uh, bent it in a 90 degree angle. This right here is a tool that I made from a screwdriver, basically just ground down the point, made a real sharp point on it. I think a nice pick would probably work just as well. You're also going to need a couple of toothpicks, or in this case skewers that I cut down. You're going to need some Q-tips. Uh, a couple of screwdrivers, one flathead, one Phillips, and then you're going to need a bearing packer uh, to install the, the stainless steel bearings that go underneath the main gear and the pinion gear. Uh, this is just a small grease gun filled with Yama Lube, and then this here is a bearing packer. As I take my bearing, and I'm going to use my, my little skewer, my sharp tool here. And all you have to do is slide the tool up against the side of the shield and lift. And it should come off fairly easily just like that. I'm going to do the other ones. So, to do this, uh, you want to make sure that this spring doesn't get away from you. Uh, more times than not, I've lost these things just because they want to pop out when you, when you slip them out. So, to remove them, uh, I put my finger over it to hold it in place so that it doesn't get away from me. And then I'm going to take my little pointer tool here and I'm going to slide it under the edge. Now I'm going to simply lift it out. that thing aside for the time being. Okay, to remove this bearing, I'm going to get my tool here for pulling bearings, and I'm going to slide it inside the middle of the spool, and I'm simply going to lift it out. Okay, now we've got our bearing out. We're going to take our new spool bearing, and I'm going to apply two drops of loop, one on each side of the bearing. Like I was saying earlier, I prefer to run my reels a little on the drier side. It makes for more maintenance, but you get a better performing reel. 
So now that that's lubricated, I can simply slide that guy into place and it should just pop down for me. That. Now I'm going to reinstall my retainer spring. To do this, you simply slide one end into the track. Just like that. Now I'm going to hold that end down and I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to press the other end into place. You can see just like that, the retainer is in place and that bearing is installed. I'm going to take our casting control knob off. And this is going to access our right side spool bearing. Uh, you can see it right there, we've got another retainer spring. I'm going to remove that in the same fashion as the last one. Slip my tool on the side into the retainer spring. Simply slide it out, put that to the side, and I'm going to take my tool here to remove the spool bearing, and it should pop out just like that, I'm going to put that to the side, okay, now there's a little bit of lubricant in there, so I'm just going to take my Q-tip here, just run it around real fast. Uh, that just keeps everything nice and cleaned up. I'm going to take my other ceramic bearing, two drops of lubricant, one on each side. Now I'm going to stall this guy, slide right in, little pop. And now I'm going to take and reinstall my retainer spring. Same fashion as last time, one side in finger holds it in place, the other finger just slides it down just like that. I'm going to reinstall my uh, casting control knob, just like that. Now that we have our screws off, we can just slide this guy off, and I'm going to set him aside right here, because uh, it's just in order of how it goes back on. Uh, I'm going to take my main gear, and my drag washers off, this right here, it's just like that. Okay. These two I just pull off at the same time, it's a little easier for me. Set him there. And these guys. So these guys are going to go back together just like that. Okay, I've got two more bearings in this reel. One's going to be located under the main shaft here. The other one's going to be under the, the pinion gear um, down in here. So. I'm going to do this guy first because he's a little easier. Take my springs off. Set those right there just like that. Um, take out my pinion gear. Uh, it's got a little plastic piece. I can leave him on. And I've got two screws here that I need to remove to access this bearing. One and two. So I'm going to take those guys out. trick. Get a little dab of grease on the end of a screwdriver like this and to pick up these guys. 
not, you'd have to turn your reel over and then you risk losing something. So, just like that. Okay, now I have, uh, excuse me, uh, another bearing right there. I'm going to take my bearing puller, slide it in, it comes out. Put him to the side. Okay, now I'm going to take my entire reel and I'm going to set it to the side right now. Now it's time to pack our two remaining stainless steel bearings. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the bearing packer. So how this works is there's two pieces to it. Um, there's the female end and then there's the male end. Um, how this works is you take your bearing, you put it down on top of the male end just like that until it finds its ring. Female end goes over the top of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it, push it down until it's seated, pump it a few times until grease is running through it. You're basically forcing grease through the shield uh, into, the, into the bearing, and you want to make sure that you do this properly so that you remove all air from the bearing, and that's going to ensure uh, the longevity of the bearing. So. Got it just like that, pushing it down tight. Now I'm going to force grease through it. Should be good right there. This part gets a little messy. So my bearing is stuck up in the female end. Pull it out, I'm going to set it to the side. parts when I'm reassembling. I'm going to take my last bearing here, I'm going to set it down until it's seated properly. I'm going to slip the female end over the top, make sure that it's seated properly, hold it down nice and snug. A few pumps, that's all it needs. It off. Pull it out. I'm going to set this guy aside. Now I'm going to take my rag and I'm just going to clean up those bearings real quick. Okay, now that we've packed the bearings with grease and we've cleaned them up, they're ready to reinstall. Uh, so, I'm going to take the larger of the two stainless steel bearings, it fits right down into this ring here, and it slides down into place fairly easily here, just like that. Now I'm going to reinstall this guy. that. So these little screws here, I'm going to use my grease trick to install them. A tad of grease on the tip of the screwdriver will pick these guys up easily. Right down into place. Yeah, but this guy, I put the first screw down about 90% of the way. Got my second screw that I just dropped here and install him. And then I go back and tighten the other screw up the last 10%, just like that. Okay, take a little q tip, get my grease cleaned up, just like that. Okay, now I have my pinion gear. He's 
slides into place. So what I had to do is I had to advance this here. Um, this is what engages and it disengages your reel. Um, this plastic right here has got a little notch. I wanted to make sure that the other plastic was seated down in it, so I had to advance that. Um, and that allows the springs to fit fully on um, the two posts there. Okay, my last bearing is underneath my main shaft here. So I've got two screws to take off. This is probably the hardest bearing to to uh, to upgrade. Um, there's a little keeper on the end of it that I'll show you in just a second. And it's extremely difficult to get off and on sometimes. So a little grease on the end. Pick that guy up. Put him right there. The shaft comes off just like that. And here's my last bearing. See the keeper that I'm telling you about it sits on the end right there, and it is a little feisty sometimes. Uh, I take a small flathead, and how I'm going to remove this is I'm going to put my thumb on one end of it. I'm going to take my flathead, and I'm going to push down on the other end. And I do this. I put it against the table so that I can force down pretty good on it. It slides just like that. It's about halfway off, and I take this, and I just take it and twist it, and it pops off the rest of the way. Okay, now it's got this washer or spacer right here. Um, I just flip that thing off, put it right there. Okay, now this should just slide. a little effort to get this guy off, like I was saying. You gotta slide something underneath it and just kind of work your way around. Just like taking the lid off a can of paint. Sure you don't bend this one if you try this method. Um, I ran into problems with that in the past. So there's my last bearing. Set that guy aside. Here's my bearing that I've greased up, cleaned off, and he's gonna slide just like that in place for me. And I'll screw it up there. This guy goes on first. So Spacer, he goes on. Now's the fun part. You gotta get your spacer so that it's centered over your your post here, just like that. And now uh, this keeper, it's gotta slip right over the top. So I get it started. Up, so I'm going to take my flathead, I'm going to brace this against the table, and then I'm going to force it down until it clicks in, just like that. So that guy's ready to reinstall. I'm going to bring my frame back over here. This guy goes in there, just like that. Take a little dab of well, let's clean these guys off a little bit. So we don't have excess grease. Put out of grease, take the screwdriver. And I do the same with these, about 90%. Touch of 
trees. Just pick them up. Okay, now I've got all four bearings installed. We're basically just going to back out of our reel. Make sure there's no excess grease anywhere. Everything seems to be working properly. So I'm going to start reassembling this guy. Just clean that up a little bit. Now we only have one last step and that's reinstalling our spool. So we go over here, left side, side plate, open it up, take our shaft here, make sure it's nice and clean, you don't want any grease on this. Um, I apply one drop of oil to the tip of the spool shaft, and that's so that where it makes contact with your casting control uh, cap here, um, there's it reduces the friction, allows the spool to, to spin a little better. Okay, so this slides in just like that. And this comes closed. Quarter turn. There you go. Four new bearings for your Corrado bait caster.